Good morning. I'm Andy with Tri-County Air Conditioning. We're here in the training room at Tri-County Air Conditioning. And we're here to talk to you about the proper operation of a dehumidistat. First things first, a dehumidistat is not dehumidification control. A dehumidistat is used more for uh, an energy saving device for when you're either gone on an extended period of time or if you're gone on a vacation. In most cases, when you go north for the winter time or the summertime, I'm sorry, you want to make sure that you set this to 55% relative humidity. Now what that does, if your home goes above 55% relative humidity, it's then going to turn the power to your thermostat on. Okay? It's very similar to a light switch. You flip it on, it's got power to it, the light comes on. Now if it's set to 80 degrees and it's only 78 degrees in the home, your thermostat obviously will not turn the unit on. Now if it's 84 degrees on your thermostat, and your dehumidistat is then satisfied, your unit will then come on. The common misconception when a lot of people come in a home is it's 84, 85, even 88 degrees sometimes, and they want to know why it's not working when it's set to 80 degrees. Well, there's a very simple reason for that. Again, your dehumidistat is your power control for your thermostat. So if it's set to 55% relative humidity, and it's only 50% relative humidity in your home, it will not allow that thermostat to come on. So a quick and easy way to test it would be to turn this dehumidistat to the right until you hear it click. Your thermostat in most cases will light up at that point in time if it wasn't lit up already. And you will hear your air conditioner come on or you will start to see your thermostat flash, cool on, or a nice little snowflake letting you know that it's in the time delay mode. Now for those of you who have a battery in your thermostat, your thermostat will always stay lit up. But in most cases, if you don't have a battery, when you turn this to the left to 55% and it clicks, your power will then shut off to the thermostat and then you will know that your dehumidistat is not satisfied. Okay, So plain and simple, when you're using your dehumidistat, if it's 55% dehumidistat setting and your thermostat set to 80 degrees, it will need to be above 55% relative humidity in your home for that thermostat to come on. Now. We do have a sticker that goes on here. If you do not have a sticker on your dehumidistat, please give us a call. We'll go ahead and we'll send you one in the mail so you can apply it. That sticker plain and simply just says, when leaving for an extended period of time, set your thermostat to cool at 80 degrees, set your fan switch to the automatic position, and set your dehumidistat to 55%. When at home, set your humidistat to the on position and operate thermostat normally. This will give you just a quick and easy reminder as to what to do when you go north and what to do also when you come home. This will also be very helpful if you have a vacation or staying in your home. It'll allow them to know exactly how to operate your thermostat and your dehumidistat. Thanks a lot and have a wonderful day.